How's it going everybody? It's Leonidas. Now, I wanted to speak to you guys in regards to the Nintendo Switch internet browser. The hidden internet browser. Now, it does work from 4.0 software all the way up to 5.0.2. On the left, I do have my Nintendo Switch right here, which is running 4.1.0. And on the right, right here, I do have it running 5.0.2. Now, if you want to get into it, you have to set your primary and secondary DNS settings to manual. You do this by uh, changing the settings for your Wi-Fi um, settings on your Nintendo Switch itself. You change DNS settings to man manual, and then you set primary DNS and secondary DNS both to 045.055.142.122. I will have that in the description itself. Now, once you type that in, you will be able to. I'm going to use my PS4 controller. You will be able to save those settings. Settings have been saved. Now, I'm going to go up, and when I try to connect to the network, it will give me a registration failed or registration is required to use this network sorry now when I click I'm gonna go into this and as you're gonna see this is the hidden browser itself now if I click I will go into Google Bang, which is nice to see. Um, YouTube videos are not playing. They're not fully functional. Neither is Netflix. Many other video um, options that we would have. Um, on the left, I have my uh, Pro Controller here. I'm going to take the time to show you. I do have a game here running. I'll uh, include... A link in the description um, it does run all right it's not bad please read the page should be able to skip this uh, the connection of browser has been lost okay so that's because I was doing something and it did take me a while to get back into it so I'm gonna go back to browser quest that's what it's called I'm going to click, I'm going to go in, maybe I'll see some of you guys there. Browser Quest, keep it in mind, right? You don't need to be, um, you don't have to be running homebrew. Both of these are just running in the normal mode for my Nintendo Switch with the custom or manual DNS settings, as I said. Now, when I use my controller here, I am able to click. Audio is not working, but it's all good. Um... Works pretty nice. Can beat up some rats if I want. Yeah, take down a rat. Nobody likes a rat. Take that down, get some health. Um, I'm gonna go down here. Never really played this game much. You can talk to people. Um, there's a chat, things like that. Um, I can show you the chat right now. Hello. As you can see there, my guy's saying hello at the top of the screen there. So it works pretty good. No complaints. Um, can probably go in this house actually up here. Let's try that. I've only played so much of this game. Yeah, I can go in there. Probably talk to them. Yeah, so the game's running. Um, there's other people, there's six other players right now, so you may run into some people, there's some items you can get, um, yeah, it's a good little game, can't complain, um, what other game do I got, I can show you maybe real quick, you push the L3, you can switch to, to go in between tabs as opposed to using 
the cursor. Um, I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna pick a game down here. Pac-Man. Why not? This does work. Watch. With the joystick and the D-pad, so I am able to play Pac-Man even on an unmodded, a non-homebrew switch. This does work on a homebrew switch too, obviously. Oh, I thought the cherry, oh yeah, it's not the cherries that allow you to eat them, it's the other the little blinky things on the corner. Come try that again. Try that again, see what happens, bud. I'm gonna go through this real quickly. This man's trying to get me, boom, let's go. I'm gonna eat you guys. Bang. Taking it. It's a good game. Pac-Man. What a classic. You better run. Diggy. Taking out everything. Eating what I can. This guy's coming after me. They're going to try and block me in. Ah! You get the point. Um, On the right, we got 5.0 point... Uh, Two. Um, the browser is working. I could say, um, I don't know, homebrew. Home brew. Just for why not? There you go. Browser's working. Can't really complain too much about that. If I go back again. I can probably load up another game real quickly. Um, disable my cursor so I can actually go over. And then I can go to play Tetris. I guess if I want. Toggle full screen. Let's see if that works. There we go, full screen. There's Tetris. It's pretty good, right? I wouldn't complain. It's working. That's the key thing. It's working. Um, how do I rotate these guys? Oh, not that button. How do I rotate? There we go. So it's R and L to rotate your pieces. Bang, got it just in place. So this is running pretty good. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. If I helped you, of course. I do my best to try and help everybody. Um, that's the main goal with this channel is to help people. I'm sure over time many of you are pretty happy with what you've achieved by following some of these guides. Remember, it is at your own discretion. Um... Some people are worried about maybe using this method or the browser uh, for whatever reasons they may have, uh, thinking they may get attacked or something by Nintendo. It's at your own discretion, remember, right? So if you want this benefit, if you want to be able to look up certain things, um, I got an idea of some other useful reasons why I would want to use my browser other than what I'm doing right now playing some of these games some very useful documents and stuff might be able to view I'm going to drop this down hope you guys enjoyed I'm going to go back and then Quick draw? What's that? Quick draw. Let's draw. Draw jail. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. Draw a trumpet in under 20 seconds. Look at this game, eh? I don't know. Holy. It's pretty hard. 20 seconds. I don't know. You guys can't complain. Come on now. Whether you got homebrew or not, here you go. You're good to go. The Nintendo Switch hidden internet browser. Leonidas is out.